Would you care to explain? Wow, well, whether you're big enough, whether it matters or not. La. <laughs> Say hello to Singapore's first brown dating web series, where we set up individuals from diverse South Asian ancestry on a blind date. Will they be able to find a meaningful connection? Well, tune in to find out on Daisy Park Tour. Hello. Hi, 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 hi. How are you? I'm gonna die, but I'll be fine. Bruh. Welcome to your second date. Today you'll be given a challenge to replicate this popular Singaporean dish under 60 minutes. Hokkien Mee. Mm. These ingredients have been placed before you as well as some question cards for you to dig deeper. Are you ready? Who has that cooking experience before? I cook once in a while. I burn kitchens down. Uh, I'll do the cleaning and the laundry and all that, that's fine. Folding clothes, cleaning dishes is great, but just not the cooking. So what's the game plan over there, guys? He'll handle the oil stuff and the cutting of the onions. I can do the rest. What onions? Eh, you also don't like onion, you also don't like onion. Oh. No need to put it inside. Okay, you don't need to put it inside. Great. The bean sprouts are not don't put inside. inside. That one yeah. you have to lettuce force leaves? me. Got lettuce leaves, right? Yeah. F4 is lettuce leaves. So what are we cooking today, guys? Today we're cooking Singaporean mee goreng. Mee goreng in 60 minutes, no cake la. Just put everything in and stir, right? So your 60 minutes start now, go. Wait, what? Mm. Wait, huh? Okay, turn, 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 faster, faster. Heat a wok and add the this one until the oil separates from the chilli. How much, so how much oil? Also. Yeah. You purposely give bad instructions, is it? How much oil are you supposed to? Two and a half tablespoons of cooking oil. I'll do this for you. How's that? Are we gonna waste 60 minutes to trying to figure out how to turn on this stove? Yeah, or... oh. There you go! Congratulations. Two and what? Two and a half. Tablespoon. TBS. Half. <laughs> you already half tablespoon. Just fill it up halfway there. One eternity later. Okay. Actually, why not chop the ingredients first? So you didn't say that? Yeah. Uh, what ingredients? There's garlic over there. Oh, shit. So do we turn this off? Can we cut off your face? Because if you're going to put the oil, what are you going to put in there? This one. The face? Yeah. Okay, well, if you do like this character, what? Eh, eh, eh. What is that judging it? What? She, she wants you to handle the oil. Yeah, I don't know how to handle the oil. Can you want to put it? Ah? Okay, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Hey. If you like to handle the oil, then why are you handling it? You are handling it. How? You're going to stir fry whatever you're going to stir, stir fry. Stir what? I don't wait, know. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> you don't I'm really scared also. You should do that. <laughs> yeah. Do we have uh, tissue? Yeah, See, I can't get... Come, sorry. <laughs> hey, this is going to end very badly. It's me going. <laughs> How? Oh. I spilled the oil. Because you f***ed <laughs> up. It's a combined effort. So there's a deck of cards in front of you. You can take one at a time as you cook. Okay. You're doing great. Thank you. What is your giving and receiving love language? I don't know. I took the test recently and then it was inconclusive. My highest one is probably physical touch. Thank you. Um, mine is giving gifts and quality time. Ain't no man telling me what to do. I will do it myself. <laughs> well, three piece of firm, okay. Okay, what else am I supposed to do? That's your, fuck. That's your part, that's body count matter. What's your body count and then I'll let you know. <laughs> I don't think this is the platform I want to share that information in. Oh, we're going there. This is no longer family friendly. What does it matter? To me? No. No? The more experience, the better? No, it genuinely doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Does it matter to you? I don't care. No, then. The more the better. Damn! I need mute. Thank you. No, oh, it's cold. Wait, so we don't need this, right? What is. No. <laughs> What's lettuce leaves? The leaves of a lettuce, lah. You want to be questioning, I get stupid answer. <laughs> Do you see the lettuce leaves yeah, here? Yeah, so don't have, so don't use, lah. What is this and can we have it? Oh, okay. Can we? <laughs> okay, you're doing great, you're doing great. Um, Does size matter? <laughs> size of what? Oh, of your interpretation. Does it, Shakti? I, how would I know? I'm, I'm the one that the size concerns, right? So. Get your mind out of the gutter. Yeah, right, like that question was meant for. <laughs> what? 
to me, it's not the size of the ocean, it's the motion of the ocean. Because you can't have small and then like rely on the motion of the ocean. You do need a bit of length. Based on how that looks, it looks like that. Huh? Then I, I couldn't see from her. Oh, I thought that was his. The the one she put a bit big, right? I was like, that is not average. For sure. <laughs> Lucky her, I guess. <laughs> Ew, I'm gonna tell you that. What is the weirdest place you did the deed at? What is up with these questions? They were so nice on the first day. Rooftop of a village in <laughs> India. It's not the weirdest, huh? it's the most legal that I can say. Honestly, very proud of that. Like, cause village, no light, so no light pollution, so got stars all, it was great. The Indian police are not going to come and get me from there. Right? So what's the wildest? I'm not so saying. Mayato, mayos. No, no. Oh, please, please. There's a mic attached to me, whether I tell in your ear or not, they will still hear me. <laughs> I'm a woman of God. <laughs> oh, this big is what I need, a woman of God on my ass. Something feels off. Weirdest thing a date said to you. Uh, can I tie you up, leave you in my hotel room and then go get a coffee? Which I said, yeah, sure. I just, I, it was not, I wasn't even thinking about her, I was just thinking about the guy. Like, what, what, what's the turn on in that? Like, I don't get it, but I guess to each their own. La. Cannot kink shame, right? Yeah. To be fair, Guys don't normally get creeps as dates, so yeah, I really, I really can't think of anything that's like a bit like oh, oh, I know. Oh my god, someone said while they were out with me, you look like my son. What? And after she said that, I had no idea why she was out with me. That is that that was really weird. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, throw it in, please. Six, three, five. Congratulations. <laughs> Two. Okay. Wow. Okay, please plate it. Yeah. To be fair, not like any me goring I've seen before, but. You saw my mother's me goring, she's okay. No. Chase test time, let's go. Okay, not bad. Hey, good job. I know. What was your favorite things about being Indian? I was still have something to say about that. Oh, that's actually a good question. I like the culture, um, food, the fact that I can grow a beard, that's great. I'm not very religious, but I appreciate the religion. I think Hinduism is bomb as fuck, right? I went to yeah, the... Yeah, I like the story. Yeah, I went to the Asian Civilization Museum the other day. Ooh, it was very cool, very nice. I guess the same thing, it's the religion, it's the culture. Mm -hmm. Uh, you see someone with similar skin tones, it's immediately you get um, a connection. Hey, brother. <laughs> Would you be okay with living with your in-laws? Okay, let's say you're with someone, right? And you love this person. You guys want to do whatever the hell you want to do in your own house, right? But the moment other people are around, you can't do everything that you want, right? I, I'm not, like, I don't mean like oh, sex and shit. I mean like, literally like, oh, today, let's spend the entire day in bed in our pajamas. The moment they are in-laws, or even if it's my parents or like the other person's parents, they're gonna be like, what are you doing? You know, like, get out of bed, blah, blah, blah. Right, blah, blah. okay, like, okay. That makes sense. Um, yeah, I don't no. know. It's Tani Kurtanam right out the gate. Do you know what that means? No, actually. It's living on your own. Oh, oh yeah, okay, yes. then I do know. So. Yes. I heard Tani, I'm like... Tani, tani Kurtanam. Tani. No, I have Tani, not Tani. Okay, let, you're a bartender, let's... Okay, don't need to think about it so much. Sure. Uh, my mother's very keen on, like, chasing me out of the house at 25. She's like, for 25, that's your limit, and then you're out of the house. I'm like, great. I mean, not to be rude or anything, but isn't that quite, like, a dated concept? Yeah, that's why I say I hope they're joking. Oh, okay. <laughs> fun. Family is fun. Ooh, what's the hardest part about dating you? Me? Mm -hmm. I have ADHD. You do? Diagnosed? I only got diagnosed two years ago. When I realised a lot of things I didn't like about myself, I realised it was because of ADHD, so I was like, yeah, but no, because it's still an issue. Um, but yeah, I think one of the things that I really don't like that I do, which is a symptom of ADHD, is I zone out when people are talking and I interrupt them. Mm. Yeah, so anytime that I'm talking to somebody, I'm trying, like I'm really trying my best not to do that. So if I do that, I, I always tell like, who, honestly, like, so if I was on a first date or whatever, like normal or not in front of camera, no, um, I would always tell the person, 
Yeah, I have ADHD. If I zone out or interrupt you, you have to let me know. Because I, I, I don't realize it. Um, so far, um, because I know it, I'm a bit more aware. So I do it a lot less. But yeah. Nice. I don't have anything. I'm a pleasure to be around. Fantastic. <laughs> so seriously, no answer. I got anxiety, but that's about it. Oh. That's not an issue. Is it though? If your friend cheats on their partner, would you tell them? Wow, this one is a hard question. I genuinely don't know the answer. I wouldn't. Why would I? It's not your place, but and then your friend is your friend, but then your friend f***ed up, and like it's not fair to the partner. Like, oh, it's, oh, is I it cannot, your cannot. friend? Oh, if your friend, yeah, I wouldn't do. Um, my besties' wrongs are their rights. It's okay. You know what I mean? Like their wrongs are still their rights. It doesn't matter. I will love them either way, and I won't tell anyone. Oh. But you would? No, I don't know. I don't know what the right thing to do is. I genuinely have no idea. To be fair, I'll, I will stay by my friend, la, but it really it really depends. Because like, I had a friend who cheated on someone I knew. Yeah, I forever changed my perspective on him. So like, yeah, I really don't know what to do. I, I genuinely don't know. Uh, it was, it was, it still is a difficult situation for me. Really? Yeah. I think if it's a serious relationship, then I also it's be like, for a thing. Yeah. But if it's like a, you've been dating for three months and then you're screwing yeah, around with other not people. Even cheating, right? Yeah, it is. If you're dating for three months? Like dating as in what? Like the exclusive, exclusive? Yeah. Like getting to know each other. Are you getting to know each other for three months? I, I mean, it depends, right? Like if I. Okay, we can be dating for three months and if I see you, like what? Once every two weeks. Okay, yeah. so you've been with them for a year yeah. and you've wasted that one year. To me, it's not about the cheating, it's about how could you just wasted your time. Okay. Yeah. I think for me, it like, doesn't matter when, like, cheating is cheating. <laughs> Next question. My ex gave the best. What the shit? Trauma. Oh. Good hit. <laughs> Good for you. Good for me. It was great. It was, it was, it was great. It was great. It was great. <laughs> I'm so sorry, mom. I'm so sorry. Oh, thoughts on the Indian caste system? Nonsense, man. Nonsense? I mean, it's a product of its time, fine, but the fact that people are still following it is nonsense. Oh, there's people in, in Singapore who still follow it. It's See, crazy. nonsense. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know a friend who broke up with a boyfriend because he wasn't. Yeah, that might Do we have the same friend? What's your friend's name? We can't say. We're still mic'd up, even though it was. We'll cut it out. Can cut out? Uh, I don't know what it. See, the fact that we both have a friend. <laughs> right, yeah. right. Like they had this whole talk about how they're going to get abandoned by their family. I remember when I was younger, first in demo movie, they were saying cast, jazzy, jazzy, all that kind of shit. And I asked my parents, like, what cast are we using? They're like, don't know. I'm like, that's the way. <laughs> Same, my mom as well. She doesn't know. Honestly, I think we'd be just friends. Because uh, he's a really nice person. Uh, I can see myself having a lot of fun with him. But... Uh, Fun? No, no, not fun. Regular PG-13 fun. <laughs> like what I said in the first date, right? I usually go for the white collar guys. So maybe, maybe, maybe not. Oh, that's such a terrible thing to say. But I, I don't see that compatibility. Yeah. yeah. Be really enjoy that. You, yeah, you should get used to it. How do you find like today's date compared to the first date before? It was nice. I liked it. Good food out of it. It was quite, quite easy to please, I guess. I don't, I don't think on a cooking date before. Yeah. I mean, at home quite a few times. If I'm going over to someone's house, there's not a lot of cooking involved. That can be both. You can cook, eat, digest, and then do whatever you want. Or do whatever you want, cook, eat, digest, do whatever you want again. <laughs> And watch a movie, do whatever you want to get. <laughs> See, what, what if you do whatever you want, do whatever you want, do whatever you want, and then you go the home. The mind is willing, but the body will not cooperate. <laughs> the bodies I've been with have cooperated. Very happy to you. Thank you. <laughs> one, one thing I didn't want to do when I was on this show was pretend to be somebody else. So, I hope they can see that. that I'm not like trying to be like a cooler version of Shakti. It doesn't exist, but I hope you guys don't think I, I dislike Shamini or anything. I think she's great. I just don't think we 
woo-woo vibe? I think a lot more jokes. I'm the kind of person who's like, I will poke fun at people endlessly. Uh, and for it to be reciprocated is great, like roasting me and stuff. He was a bit reserved. I think he was a bit like scared and stuff to cross a boundary, and uh, which is yes, you know, it's only your second date. But I, I would have wished he poked a bit more fun at me when I was endlessly teasing him about the 7 out of 10. <laughs> So we're coming to the end of the second date. So what's going to happen now is that both of you will be given an opportunity to exchange your contact numbers, exchange your socials, and we will basically check in back with you guys in two months' time. So whatever happens in these two months is really on your own, on your end. Whether you all choose to just like hang out with friends or like whether you all choose to actually date, that's up to you. In two months' time, we will check back in and see what the progress is at. Okay, how does that sound? Right. Cool. See you in two months. Thank you.